Okay, so this is the Saint Smart uh, Arduino robotic car kit, um, which I'm about to unbox. Okay, so let's grab some of this stuff out. Okay, so we've got four motors here. All right, so just four of these basic motors. Um, let's get those out. Got a battery pack, which takes six AA batteries. Um, some wires. We've got a pack of screws and washers and nuts and uh, a switch there. Okay, we've got four wheels. And this looks like the frame. Oops. And here we've got an ultrasonic sensor, HCSR04 sensor. And this is for the actual frame. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cut all of that up. Okay, so I'm going to start with the main uh, frame of the car, or the chassis. So I've got um, two parts here for the front and back. All right, so we've got that. And then I've also got two parts um, here for the left and right side, okay? So basically, you can take one of the front or back pieces and one of the side pieces and just uh, slot it in like that, okay? So it just goes in like that. And then we've got a screw here on the top and a screw on the bottom. So put that together and I'll grab one of these screws. Okay, so make sure they're all nice and tight. Now, this is the problem that I found with the Sane Smart is that if you look inside, and it might be a bit hard to get the camera to focus, but um, there's actually no real thread. So if you have a look at this screw here that's going through there, there's not really much there for it to hang on to. So that's why I had to get nuts and actually put the nuts inside there on those screws to actually hold some of those screws in because they can just fall straight out. Okay, so that's one thing that I really didn't like about this kit. Um, I thought it could have been a lot better there um, in that regard. So, and we just need to put the other side on. All right, just there. Do that. Okay, so once you've got that frame together, like that, so you've got one screw on the top and the bottom on each of the four corners, then you can go and grab the bottom piece. So that's what the bottom piece looks like, and that's what the top looks like. So the top has more holes on it for different sensors and components to plug into, um, or screw into, and then it's got different slots there for you to put your um, wires through. Okay, so that's the bottom. That can go on just like that. So it just sits on either side. Uh, like that. And match up the four holes there. One there, one here, here, and here. And then you can just put um, four screws in there. Okay, so that's basically it for the frame. Now what you need to do is go and put the motors on. Now, um, the motors who have one here, one here, and then one up here, and one up here. There's also some holes on the bottom here for the other, other components. So we've got the uh, motor module, which is here. So you can see the motor module has four holes on one hole on each corner. So that will actually go 
where those four holes are, just there. And it'll actually screw onto there like that. Okay, so um, before we actually attach the motors to the frame of the car, what we need to do is put the wiring onto them. So um, wire them up first, it'll be a lot easier to do it that way. So um, if we have a look at this um, motor, there are two holes there. There's, it's a bit hard to see, but there's one there and then there's one there. And that's where those long screws will go through to attach this to the frame. And then uh, on the other side, we've got, um, you can see there's two points here. So one, one here and then one down here where we can actually attach the wires to, okay? So um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to get some black wire and some red wire. Or we, I mean, you can use any colors that you want, but I'm using red and black to distinguish. Now this is the actual wire that came in the kit. Um, it's quite long. Um, and it was really meant for um, the charging component um, and for, I guess, for these motors as well. But um, I don't think there's enough wire there for, to do all of that. So I've gotten rid of the charging component. I'm not bothering with that. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And I'm going to hook up these, um, each motor, so four motors, are gonna hook up to this motor module, the L298N motor module, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'll grab, take this wire, and then I'll um, cut it in half. All right, so let's cut that in half. All right, so now I'll take the two red ones. All right, so I've got two red pieces here, two red lengths, and then I'll cut that in half again. All right, so now I have, what I have here is four red wires, all right, about that long. All right, so there's four red wires there. And then I'm gonna take those two black wires as well, and I'm gonna cut those in half too, so that we'll have four of those. All right, so now I've got four of the black short ones and four of the red short ones, okay? And what we'll need to do, we'll need to strip the end of these, each end of the wire, um, so that they can actually attach to here. So I'll have a black wire going there, and I'll have a red one going in there. And it doesn't really matter what um, color you use or what order. Um, if anything's wrong, if the wheel's going the wrong way, you can always switch them around or change the code. But um, a black one, a red one, you can do that for all four motors, and then they will go into the motor module. All right, so firstly you need to strip the ends of the wires, just probably about a centimeter off each end. Okay, so now I've stripped both ends of this red wire and both ends of this black wire, and I'm going to hook those up to the motor module. Okay, so I'm going to put the black wire on top here. Just twist that a little bit at the end. And feed that through that little hole there. And then wrap that around. And just twist that around a few times. And then the red one will go on the bottom. Uh, so I've got the black one there, we'll put the red one on there. And basically you just need to do this for all four motors. And then once you've put the wires on, you can either just get some electrical tape just to wrap around those wires, make sure they don't come off and make sure they're not contacting any other wires. Um, or you could solder them as well if you wanted to, but there we go. Okay, so we've got a black wire there and then we've got a red wire there. Okay, so I've completed putting this frame together. Um, you might notice that I've also, it's gonna be a bit hard to see, but 
I've actually put some nuts in there just to make sure that those screws don't fall off because some of them were falling off pretty easily. So the bottom's on, um, all of the sides are on, and I have wired up all of these motors. So I've got four motors here, all wired up. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually um, put them inside the car. So I've got a big hole here and there's another square hole here. The um, big round hole is where the axle actually goes through. So make sure that you've got your wires facing inside the car. All right, and then basically, just gotta get an axle through that hole there. And then there's a yellow little um, clip that kind of goes through there, okay? So that's what it looks like on the outside. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so you should have some long screws like that, which will go through these holes here. All right, so two. And then on the inside, I'll have a nut for each screw there. So um, those will just go on there. All right, so now I have the four motors in there all wired up. They're all in there nice and tight. Um, make sure they're tight enough that they won't move around, but not too tight that you'll break the, or damage the motor. Um, now you can grab the four wheels and they can attach to the axles very carefully. Make sure you don't um, damage the motor. And as you push it in, it's a good idea to hold this motor as well so it doesn't break anyway. All right, so I've got one motor on there. There we go. It's starting to actually look like more of a car now. So um, we've got all four wheels on, all four motors. The next thing that we need to do is actually attach this, which is the uh, motor module. It's the L298N model. Um, so that, there's actually four holes here. You can see there's four holes here, um, which is where that actually screws on, okay? Once that's screwed on, we can then go and wire it up. Um, so basically we have, uh, it's a bit hard to see, but we have out one, out two, uh, out three, and out four, and that's where the motors are going to attach to. And then on the bottom here, we have VCC, so the battery, red, um, the red wire, so I've got the battery enclosure here. The red wire from that is going to attach to VCC, then the black one will attach to ground in the middle. All right, so I've just finished putting those screws there, through there, um, so now I'm going to attach it to the car. Now, there's four holes down here on the bottom towards the front of the car. So this is the front and this is the back, okay? So we want it facing like that, okay? So, we just put it on top of those four holes like that and then flip it over and put uh, screws through those four holes there. Okay, that's the last one. So that's now what it looks like. The next thing to do is to actually start wiring this up. So there's not really anything else that we need to attach to the frame of the car, apart from the um, ultrasonic sensor and the servo motor, which I've got a servo motor here. It didn't come with the kit, but I bought that separately. So um, they're going to attach to the front of the car so that the servo motor will be scanning left and right and attached to that will be the ultrasonic sensor which will be looking for obstacles and then um, moving around them. So those will attach there, but um, that we can do later. Um, but apart from that, everything's all attached to the actual frame 
of the car now. The next thing to do is to wire it up. So that'll be in the next tutorial. We'll start by wiring up the motors to the motor module. And then um, we'll also put in the battery pack and attach or wire that up to the motor module as well. Um, there are holes here as well to screw it onto the chassis, but um, funnily enough, with this kit, I couldn't actually find any matching holes in the right position to do that. So it's just going to really kind of sit in there um, at the end. It'll just sit in there like that. So there's gonna be a lot of wires everywhere, um, but there were no matching holes for this battery pack. So that'll be, um, that'll also go in there. And once that is all wired up, then we need to add the Arduino and the sensor shield and wire everything up to that. All right, so that's in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.